Right, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, what we're going to be doing is fitting <coughs> our sink and all our plumbing for the van. All right, let's crack on with the video. Right, so let's see what we have. We've got a sink and the waste. I got this off Amazon, it was about 40 quid for the sink and the waste. Sometimes they come with 10 plates, sometimes they don't, mine didn't. So what we've got is we've got a bowl and it just fits nicely over. So what we can do is cut around the bowl and hopefully that slots in nicely. What we also got is we've got our two 10 litre water jugs, one for dirty waste, one for clean water, comes with a pump, a tap, all the connectors and all the waste to fit that. And right, let's see if we can actually fit this thing. Right. Got one water jug. We've got two. Pop them down there for now. Got a massive long pipe. We've got, I take it this connects up, you put that in one end of the jug, put that in the other and this connects up to your tap like that, slots in nicely, slot that in and then we'll come back to that later. That is a really small pump, but I'm sure it should all work. Come to the few pipe brackets and comes with a little take it off just like a little fiber washer and right let's get measuring for our tap or sink we put the sink in first so right all you want to do is mark out where you roughly want it I want it around about there you can measure your work top and put it bang in the middle, but we're not going to. We're just going to guess and put it roughly around right about there. So all we're going to do is draw around it. I'm just using a whiteboard marker because it can rub off, rub off, should I say? All right. Then all you do, is you get your drill bit, drill that in. Then what we're going to be using is a jigsaw and just go the whole way around and then put that in. Right, now that's off. Let's see if the sink actually fits in. I mean, it's got a bit of wiggle room, but with a bit of silicon, it should tighten up nicely. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get our tap, we're gonna mark out where we roughly want it. I've already done like a little dot where I roughly want it. And all we do, we put it there, line it up, that fits nicely there. So now all we do, is we get our drill, drill the hole, and hopefully it fits lovely. Right, hopefully that now slides in a lot better. There we go. Slots in much better. Now what we do, like that, like that. That slots in lovely. So what we've got now is we've got our tap and we've got our pump. What well, both need to be wired up to our fuse box. So what I got is I got some 12 uh, voltage cable and all we're going to do is get these little connectors 
connect these up to the tap and the fuse box, run it the whole way across to the fuse board and then hopefully they have power and hopefully they work. So as you can see, I already have cable running right across, right underneath all the way to the back. You probably can't see, but it got, runs all the way to the fuse board. <clears throat> all right, let's see if we can connect these things up. What you want to make sure is you've got positive and negative. I have to smart mine as black, so I know it's which, which is which. Then all you do is get your little clips, pop them in, fold them over, clip them down, grab some pliers or something, and clip them in place. And then you get your other end, pop it in, and then that just goes to your other cable. first time I connected it up a little bit wrong so what I've done is I've got the positive tap connector to the positive pump then I've just got some 12 volt cable and run it off the two connectors together and I've done with the same with the negative now what we're gonna do is try and connect it up to our fuse board fuse box fuse board whatever you want to call it and hopefully this thing works so what I'm doing is getting so all I'm doing is getting all the cable and all I'm going to do is run it, I've got some MPT2 trunk in already in place, I'm just going to run it along with all the other wires and connect out to the fuse board. Right, I'm just going to skip this part. Right, so what we've done is we've run all our wires across now and this down here is our little six-way fuse board so all we're going to do is get these two you do the positive to a positive and the negative to a negative down here so all you want to do is undo the screws and attach them all on like that then you just get a little 15 watt fuse, put it in the top one, and then we'll see if it all works. Right, as you can see, our tap's in, our sink's in, we've done all the wiring for it, runs all the way across, all the way over to the back of the battery and the fuse board. We've got the little pump in there, but we're gonna put our two 10 litre tanks in later, but now, the moment of truth, to see if it works. It works. That's a good sound. We just don't want to burn the motor out. It's all right. Now we're going to put the two 10 litre drums in and connect up all the tap and everything. All right, now what we've done is got some two by two, made a little frame, got a little elastic, so all our 10 litre jugs can fit in place. Now what we're going to do is get our blue pipe, attach this to the end of the tap. Then all you do is connect this onto your pump. You do need like a little G clamp so it holds in place. Then that goes in the bucket. Like that. Then all you do is you, you get your sink and a little waste pipe. And then that extends and it just connects into your other dirty water. And then as you see, it all works. Right, now as we've got that sink in place, we're gonna move on to the back doors, but we'll do that in another video. If you enjoyed, just please remember to like and subscribe the video. And right, I'll catch everyone in the next video.